in one of my last vlogs i showed you guys how i draw arteries because it was my homework and a lot of you asked me to do like a tutorial on how to draw arteries or different anatomic structures um to be honest i really don't know how i should explain it or just what to talk about because the way i draw things is i just draw things that i just see i know it sounds really simple and there's nothing to do, really talk about but there are a few tips and tricks that i use to make drawing anatomic structures easier and faster so if you want to know what those are then just keep watching and if you are new to my channel i'm lena i'm a third year medical student and i'm almost done with my third year i start my fourth year next march so if you're interested in seeing my life and my videos then click the subscribe button down below it's free and you can also set the notification button next to it so you can be notified whenever i upload a new video and let's begin so the first tip is to make sure to choose the right picture when you are doing your homework or when you are just studying the structures then you really definitely want to use google search i use google search all the time to find images that i want and i see professors and residents use google images all the time to see what they want to see or search something and it's really quick and there are tons of good images out there that you can definitely find something that you like depending on what you want you can find like a really simple version of the same anatomic structure or you can find a very complicated version of it and what i do when i have to draw something then i definitely definitely find the very simple one because it's very easy to draw and it's easy to see and i don't really like complicated pictures because it's really hard to understand and it's hard to memorize so i try my best to find the best simple pictures today i also have to draw something but this is a homework and the professor already selected a photo for us so i'm just gonna use that and the second tip is to use your devices whatever you have your laptop or your ipad your iphone and just make the photo pop really big for example this is the photo that i have to draw but it's really tiny and you can't really see it so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make it really big so it fits through the entire screen like that and it's much much bigger and easier to see and a lot of you ask me what i use my ipad for and i use my ipad for everything for school for entertainment and mostly for school i use it to like view photos or documents mostly documents because i have a lot of documents that i have to see and when i'm studying for an exam i also use my ipad because i can transfer the file into my ipad and just look at it and it's really handy in my school they use a lot of pdf files and hunger files which is um korean files and there's like a certain program for that so i use that and then powerpoint powerpoint all the time and then for google search as well you can search different images really easily it's really simple it's really quick and by just searching the internet you can definitely memorize it better while you are searching for the perfect photo that you want you are repeatedly watching the same structure or the photo so there's a bigger chance that you're gonna memorize it faster and quicker some of my peers also draw things like you put the paper on top of the ipad or your laptop and then they draw over it because you can see through it you can definitely see through it a little bit but i don't really prefer doing that because i'm confident with my drawing i used to draw a lot when i was young so i don't really have a problem with that but if you are really having a big difficulty while doing it then I strongly recommend just putting a paper over it, like a thin paper, and then drawing it on top. My third tip would be to pick the right tool. So when you are drawing stuff, you can definitely use a pencil or a pen or a much 
thicker one or a colored pen and then there are highlighters I normally use this black thick pen but I will explain it later most of my guy friends that I see use pencil to draw things and if you aren't sure about your drawings and you need to erase them as you go along then definitely I recommend a pencil because you can erase it and you don't have to be afraid of making mistakes you can also use a pencil and then put like a thick pen over it Nextly, you can use a pen. This is a Jetstream black pen in 0.7 and this is my favorite pen. I use this pen all the time. I use this in black, blue, and red and this is the perfect pen to just everything. This is my favorite stationery. But you can use any kind of pen out there just normal pen that is lying around around your house or your desk it just have the same result but if it's smoother then it would be better and this is very very smooth so I highly recommend this not for like drawing but just for your basic stationery and mostly when I draw anatomic structures I like to use this one which is a thicker pen and this is a Korean one this is Munhwa sign pen so this is for a computerized OMR test pen. When you use the OMR card to take tests, then you have to use this computerized pen so that the computer can recognize it. And what I like about this one is that it is really thick. When you are drawing structures like these, these are arteries and as you can see, there are so many lines and it looks really complicated. But when you use like a thick pen like this, you can really make sure that you can see the outline better. In this case, I am going to use this one, which is a kind of similar one to this. It's thick like this one, but it's in a different color and this is my color too by Tonga and this is made in Korea as well what I like about this pen is that it has two sides so this side it is very thick as you can see and the other side it's a very thin tip so you can draw very thin lines with it and the reason why I'm going to use this for my pen is because in this drawing you can see like these thick arteries like this the carotid arteries and the aorta but when you go to the distal side you can see that it gets thinner and there are like these extra little arteries all over so i'm going to use the thick part to draw like thin ones or the heart and then i'm going to use the other tip which is a thin tip for these little arteries that is what i'm going to do and you can also use highlighters like this pink one to draw arteries or other structures but mostly when I'm drawing a photo that is only consistent with arteries I don't really go for the highlighter because then it's hard to really tell which is which and I don't really like that highlighters are really good when you're drawing something and then there's like only a few arteries or veins or you can use the blue one for veins then you can definitely use these and it will make it pop out so it's really good but when you are drawing something like this like only arteries then it won't really pop out but it will only make it look more complicated and blurry and just messy so I'm gonna use this pen to draw this drawing and I will show you guys how I do it I've got my iPad by my side and my paper. First, I'm going to outline the human figure so that I can fit in the arteries. For the outline, I'm going to use this thick pen. So here, I just draw according to what I see. I just see the whole thing first and try to mimic what's there. And it's not it's definitely not going to be perfect and you have to know why you're drawing this and what is the most important thing here and what's the topic here and what's the thing that you are going to memorize so anything else that is not important can be just drawn really simply and just quickly so let's draw the outline together <laughs>
as you can see, it's very, very far from being perfect. I'm just drawing the outline and using the thicker pen makes it more prominent. And then after that, I'm going to take this red pen and draw the arteries, but first I'm going to make sure I'm drawing the thicker parts first, like the heart and all the arteries that are around it. Now that I've drawn all the larger arteries, I'm going to use the other part and draw the smaller ones. Now it looks somewhat similar to this. And even though it's a much simpler version of this, it looks decent, to my eyes at least. And then now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this black pen. I'm gonna write all the arteries that are in here so that I can actually memorize it and study them. This is the final look and I'm happy with it even though it's not perfect and the final touches like the arteries right here the description it makes it more professional and nice looking and it's also very helpful to memorize so that is the end of this video I hope it helped you out if you have any other questions just leave it down below and I will try to answer them if you like this video please press the like button and subscribe if you haven't don't forget to keep twinkling every single day and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys!